I'm uh, Daryl Vick. I farm by Raymond, Minnesota. I farm, uh, right now I'm farming 750 acres. About three years ago I uh, wanted to slow down so I gave up some rented land and my brother Douglas took on that land and, and we uh, sort of farm together. We own machinery together but we each have our own operation as such. But we do farm and work together. About uh, two weeks ago now, my wife and I came down with the COVID and uh, we were kind of getting over that. And then Doug started saying, I'm kind of tired. <laughs> my first thought was, uh, yeah, we, even though I was careful with the mask and stuff in the shop and around, that he must have picked up the virus from me. That went on for a day or two. And then I remember him making a comment that uh, it was hard for him to even keep one foot going in front of the other, doing chores, feeding his goats and so on. Then his son Jordan, who farms with us, found him that he couldn't hardly get out of bed. And so he called the ambulance and, and that was the beginning of a lot of testing to see why he was so weak. And after all the testing and ruling out things, it turned out he had the West Nile virus, which either turns into encephalitis or it's kind of one and the same thing. So he has trouble breathing, he's on a ventilator now. And he's in surgery as we speak, so he doesn't have to have a breathing apparatus in his mouth. So that's where we're at now. They expect him to recover. They just don't know quite how long, except it will be a long time, a few months. Could go to 100% or somewhere a little bit less than that. Farm Rescue, I had heard about it, had not researched it or anything, but my wife mentioned it. And so then we Googled it or something and looked at, and all of a sudden here's an application. And so we talked to Jordan, Doug's son, and his two daughters, and let's make an application. Within hours, we, uh, gotten okay on this first soybean field so that was pretty nice and here we are. It's a lot of pressure off of uh, the family and me to get help. Um, I mean neighbors are ready to help and step in too. They're doing their own thing right now doing their own crop. It's nice not to have to impose on them so to speak even though they're all calling and wanting to help. This works out really good where they can keep their own thing going right now and, and maybe help later if needed. So it takes a lot of pressure off of everybody. Everybody's been real friendly and real good and uh, nice to work with. We're just kind of getting into it now, but uh, everything's going good and uh, good people. Thank you very much guys for volunteering. It's very nice. If Farm Rescue wanted a corn head, uh, Haug will furnish a header, 12 row, 22 inch head. Doug plants 24 rows, so 12 row works better. <laughs> it just fits the planter better. I would say thank you to all of the supporters. Thank you very much, They're very nice. Yeah, and uh, I'll get the word out on uh, what Good Farm Rescue does and all that. So you'll be very appreciative of the, all, all this uh, that got done.